we are setting out for 10 days in the middle of the Southern Caribbean. We are leaving Fort Lauderdale, Florida right now on the Celebrity Beyond cruise ship. This thing is enormous and there is a lot of food here to be eaten. So it is a good thing that there is also a lot of walking and a gym. So this is a look at all the decks on this ship right here. You can see it goes up to deck number 17. Decks 6 through 12 are actually all the cabins. There is no 13. There are stairs at the end of each of these decks, as well as elevator banks. The front of the ship is the forward, the back is the aft. Stateroom is another name for the cabins. We are actually on 7 forward. We are actually in 7174, which is down this hall here and you can see these are some super long hallways that goes all the way to the front of the ship and then this one goes all the way to the back of the ship and that's not the back right there that's just where the hallway turns a little bit if we come down here and around the corner you can see all the way down there and that way down at the end is still not the end I'll show you what I mean down here but we walk these hallways every day when we're coming and going to eat or to the pool or to some activities or whatever we're gonna do around the ship for the day. Yeah, this is just another jog in the hallway here. And you can see it continues down there. And here is another bank of elevators right here. And if we keep going, it jogs around a little bit more and you can see way down there. That is finally the end of the hall. Okay, so I told you that deck number 13 just doesn't exist. 6 through 12 is all staterooms. We really don't visit those other floors because it's just everything that I just showed you on our floor. And by the way, they're called decks, not floors. So decks 16 and 17, those are pretty much off limits to us. Those are for people who are staying at the retreat. I'm going to be taking you guys through 15, the rooftop garden, and these things over here. Obviously the pool, the cafe, the solarium, the spa, and fitness center. But we're going to start down here with decks 3, 4, and 5. Because right now we are at port in Barbados and a lot of people are off the ship. So where these decks are usually flooded with people, there's not a lot of people down there right now. So let's go on down to 3. And I've been walking all these decks every day, getting in thousands of steps and about 6, 7, 8 miles. Actually, we'll start on deck 2 really quick. This is just where if you were getting off at port, you would use the gateway right there. The basement is where like the kids hang out. So if if we head down this way, I can show you that stuff. There's also a medical facility down here somewhere. Yeah, right here is the basement where like the teenagers and the kids hang out in there. And again, destination gateway is if you were gonna get off and back on the ship right over here. And you do have to go through security to do that. So that's pretty much all there is to see on deck two here. So let's go on up to deck three. There are actually more staterooms down that hallway there. But if we follow this way and make a right, this will take us down a long hallway to a couple of restaurants. This first one is called the Tuscan Restaurant. We ate in there the other night. It's kind of an Italian restaurant. I love how this looks over here, this awesome lobby wide open here for people to wait. They got the stairs over here that are lit up. That looks really cool. We'll go up there in just a minute. But you got these statues and things all throughout the ship. This you can see up about three decks. So you got the Tuscan over there. There's the statue. And then you've got the Normandy restaurant over here. But when you're just walking these halls, it's cool because you can come from all the way down there and then just make a loop all the way around here. And when you get all the way around, it just brings you back to the hall here and I'll show you we're gonna walk the length of the ship here up through here is where guest services is there's a little internet desk here if you want to sign up for internet and we can walk through here and this is the Grand Plaza this is where they do a lot of stuff like uh, over here we were playing trivia earlier they had like some dance classes and things over here in the evening this area is hopping <laughs> people will be filling up all these seats here they got the bar going and people flipping all the drinks and the bottles and everything around like on cocktail there are seats on every level here going all the way up to i believe that's deck five up there and i'm going to show you all of these decks guys more seating up here and then 
around the edges there's even more seats and little tables around there so there's another look at the bar area on three down there the grand plaza that's as far as you can go the only way out down there is a crew door and that brings us up to deck four we're gonna walk around this and this is a long one so there are a ton of restaurants on this ship this one's called la voyage and then as we circle around this one, the Grand Bistro, we ate in there one evening. Oh, they actually have these doors open in here tonight. There are actually projectors that shine down on the tables. And it shows kind of like a little movie of these little people preparing your food. It looks like they're preparing your food on your plate. And as soon as they're done, then the waitress brings your actual food and sets it on the plate. It's pretty cool. If we keep going this way, this over here is just a bar. And, I don't know, I missed it if they did, but I was kind of hoping that they would be showing the Jake Paul fight a couple nights ago. And, uh, I don't know if they had it or not, but I missed it. This one is called Craft Social Bar. I don't think you need a reservation for this one. They do have some food in there. But you can sit in here and have some drinks. Or, while you're waiting for the restaurant I just showed you, or this one, you can sit in these seats out here which overlook, again, the bar down there. And we're gonna circle around to everything else on that side, but first, let's keep going this way. And as we walk through here, it takes us into the casino, where we have already blown way too much money. <laughs> there is an ATM in here for when you need more money to blow, but this is a long casino. It goes all the way down to the end of the hall there. Um, there are some games up here that lead out to that hallway. And if we come through this way, you can see there are even more slot machines all the way around here. A lot of table games going up through there. Poker and blackjack and roulette. We like to play blackjack. Lots of slots over here. Everything is shut down right now because when you're at port, they close all of the little businesses in here, including the casino and all the stores. They wanna make sure that you go out on the port and spend some money there. But that's a look at the casino right there. And if we keep going this way, you'll see our favorite games, the Wheel of Fortune. And this will bring us down to the end of the hall here where there are some more restaurants. This first one here is the Cosmopolitan. We did have breakfast in there one morning, which is basically everything you can get on the buffet. It's just people who are in there serving you, kind of the experience. This restaurant over here is called The Cypress. We have not eaten in here, but there are really cool art installations throughout the entire ship, and this is one of my favorites right here. This is right above those first restaurants I showed you. One over there, there's the statue, and here are the steps that begin to come up and they continue this way. Again, we're on the fourth floor right now. That's the fifth floor up there. That's pretty amazing, so stay tuned. But right now we're gonna make our way back down this hall here, continuing on the fourth floor. And the kind of decorations they have around this ship remind me of being at the casinos in Las Vegas. There are a lot of stores along this strip here. This one's called Sense of Self, and let me tell you, these are expensive stores, guys. <laughs> high-end jewelry and purses and things like that. We got Gucci and Louis Vuitton in here. And again, all of these stores are closed right now because we are at port. They will open up again once we leave the port. They've got these monitors throughout the halls advertising the Breitling watches. This one is called Effie here, another uh, jewelry store. This one doesn't actually close the doors. You can still go around and look around, but, uh, but you'd have to be able to go in there to pay for something if you wanted to buy it. They've even got Fabergé eggs in here. They're not messing around. <laughs> Keep going and you can see where the casino is on the left. We just walked through there. And the stores just continue. This one's called Time Is Now. And this is where they sell a lot of the high-end watches. So continuing out here, again, this is the fourth floor looking down over the bar where they do the cocktail stuff. There's a sitting area over here. If we keep walking, you can see there are even like these big porch swings. There's a catwalk right up here that we're gonna go across when we get to the fifth floor. Little cafe over here if you wanna get a drink or a little treat of some kind. I got some cookies there the other day. Pretty dang good. Here's the photo gallery. There are photographers around this ship. And if you come up here, then of course, you know, if they find you along the ship and they take your picture, then you can come up here, scan your key card, and it'll show you the pictures that were taken of you. They accidentally gave us somebody else's pictures, but here's one they took of us in St. Martin, and another one right there. I don't know why Marion has that look on her face. 
<laughs> we're not going to buy those, but just wanted to show you that you can get them. They also have other things for sale over here, like these binoculars. They have, uh, you know, selfie sticks and things like that. You can even get iPad minis over here and cameras and laptops. I mean, they aim to make some money out of you people on this ship. Look at this. You can even buy GoPros. There are areas for if you want to go ahead and book your next cruise before you're even done with this one. Another one on this side, Celebrity Future Cruise Vacations, just to book cruises before you're even done with this one. Here's uh, high-end perfume stores here. This one's called Attraction. They've even got like cruise clothing and more jewelry and things in here. We got the club over here on this side, which I'll show you in a minute. Almost to the end of the hall, this store is called Resort Wear, where again, they have just clothing and things like that that you might want for on your cruise. This store in here is all alcohol, and this is actually the only store on the entire ship that has any kind of your basic needs. We were looking for like Pepto and Bonine and things like that, and we had to go into this store here to get it because they don't have just a basic needs shop on this ship. If you forget anything at home, you have to get off at a port when you stop and get it there. They have a very small selection of candy in here, which I bought one night because we went into the theater here, which is awesome. I'm going to show you this. They were actually showing Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Tonight, we've got this uh, comedian in here, Jay Stevens. We're going to go see him. But this is the theater straight ahead here. Uh, it looks like they got something going on in here, so I can't take you in at the moment. Some kind of training seminar going on in there right now. But yeah, we watched Indiana Jones in there. We're going to see this guy tonight. We saw a singer named Savannah Smith last night in there. And we saw a magician the night before across the hall here is a place called The Meeting Place. I have not been in there, but there is a schedule that they give you on the app to tell you what's happening in each of these places at what time. And that brings us around to the last thing on this floor here, which is the club. That is closed for rehearsal right now. I believe for this jazz show that we're gonna try to get to tonight also. Uh, Celebrity Showtime, the jazz joint with the Eden production cast. There's supposed to be like tap dancing on the piano and everything. So let's come back down to the end here. We're going to take these stairs and go on up to deck five. Look at this. I'm sweating. I've already got two and a half miles in just walking around these decks. So right down here, right above the theater on the fourth floor, this is where you would enter if you want to sit in the balcony they have those doors closed off right now on the complete opposite end over here they have what is called the captain's club honestly i don't know what happens in there <laughs> but if we come down here you can see the club again up here this is just the uh, fifth floor entrance to that and as with downstairs that is closed at the moment. But as you come around this way here you can see that this is the beginning of a long art gallery down this way and all of this stuff is for sale all the art throughout these hallways this is thomas kincaid pablo picasso over here and this part is actually called the park west museum this is where they have all of the art hung up on the walls throughout here and yeah, you can buy this stuff. I think it goes on auction. Look at this, we have Thomas Kincaid Disney prints here. How cool is that? Ooh, Mickey Mouse Halloween. This is very cool. All right, we keep coming down this way. We get to the World Class Bar here. And once again, we're getting over to where you can look down over that other bar. Yep, there you go. That is quite a view from up here. And I'll tell you what, guys, this place is speck and span. They're always around here cleaning everything. This is another one of the restaurants here, Raw on 5. Here's the catwalk I was talking about because there is another restaurant on the other side. We're going to cross this, then we'll come back over. Yeah, look at this. Pretty cool. You can walk right over here and look straight down on the party that's going on down there and this place is packed at peak times this restaurant straight ahead is called the fine cut steakhouse look at that man i could go for a good steak right about now i love the presentation of everything in here yeah let's go back over the catwalk here if you're eating dinner at the steakhouse you can look straight down through there there's people on the fourth floor looking down 
Okay, let's keep on going here because wait till you see what I have to show you next. Here's another high-end store over here. IWC Schaffhausen Cartier. They've got jewelry and watches in there. And look at these sculptures that are starting to show up here. That's coming up soon. We got the Bulgari store over here. Lots more uh, jewelry. Man, you could spend some serious bucks in here. And this is what I was talking about right here. Things are going to start getting interesting because right now we're going to go see Eden, another restaurant called Blue. And walking through here, things get a little crazy. This is like a zen hallway. Look at this. How crazy is this? It's like a hall of mirrors. And let me just stop. You can listen for a minute. Ooh, there goes the lights. Look at that. It looks like you're outside among stars. Ooh, that's pretty weird. <laughs> I haven't seen it do that before. We got all these sculptures hanging from the ceiling and everything. Pretty amazing hallway here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that is so crazy. All right, let's keep moving here. We have more of these sculptures here. And this is another long hallway here with a couple of restaurants. This is pretty amazing right here. So this stairway you've seen a couple of times already, and if you don't recognize it yet, you will in a minute as we follow this all the way down. And there's the statue from the third floor down there. So you've got the four restaurants on these floors here. And then we're gonna head down this hallway and I'm gonna show you some more. Including this one called Eden, which is like the most amazing area on the entire ship. First of all, look at these little deer sculptures. It's like deer standing on top of each other. How crazy is that? Okay, let's keep moving here. So again, this whole area, the theme is for a restaurant called Eden. So you can see where it's sort of like the Garden of Eden is what they're getting at. So you've got all this seating here all throughout the hallway with what looks like plants and moss. And let me just show you this real quick. <laughs> this chocolate right here, this stuff is expensive, 50 bucks a box. This one over here is a hundred. Now on our way to Eden, over here is a restaurant called Blue. I honestly don't know what kind of food they have in there. It might be Mediterranean. I'm not sure. It doesn't really seem to fit anywhere in here, but they have it because everything else is themed like this Eden theme down here. We got this little pop-up looking store here called Mankind, and it's just a store for men with, again, high-end clothing and watches and backpacks and things like that. And now we enter Eden as we come down this hallway here, and I love how they have a lot of different types of seating throughout here. Wait till you see this place. This is pretty awesome out here. We were here exploring this end earlier today already. Look, we got the giant balanced rocks here. These seats look like big lotuses, a big swing over here. And this is probably the biggest area in the ship here. You got all kinds of different seating choices here throughout. Look at these big back chairs over here. There's going to be some people playing music in here later on. There's nothing going on in this area right at the moment. But look at this. Look at the design of this area here. And these soft leather couches throughout here. They got a bar over here. Piano over here. I can't even zoom out enough to show you all this stuff. But look at this. There's seating all throughout here on every level up here on this balcony and it goes all the way around. You can go down the steps over there and it goes down here. And this is at the back of the ship. So as we're going through the ocean, looking out these windows, you can see our wake behind us. There's even seats up here where you can go sit and just watch that as you're riding. Let's go up some of these steps here. Yeah, seating areas everywhere here. So many different types of seating and tables. Got a little nook back here. And we'll keep moving upwards this way. 
Lots more seating here. This almost looks like what you'd see on a beach. More here, and you just sit along here watching the people play the music, having your drinks. And that looks right over the bar here and the music area. And this is my favorite part of this area back here. All these windows. You can just sit around here and chill and watch out the windows. And here's something funny. The free winds over there. That's the Scientology prison, I mean ship. So yeah, this just circles around here. Here's all the seats that I showed you when we were down there. They're getting ready to make some food and stuff there. But you can sit in these seats, just chill out and watch the water go as you're floating on by. Yep, this circles all the way around here. Look at these swings. What the heck is this? Oh my gosh. Look at that, they're hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> That would be fun. Sometimes this ship is just rocking back and forth. I bet if you were sitting in there, you'd just be swinging back and forth. So anyway, we just keep coming back down around here and it circles all the way around. You can see how I'm getting so many miles in just walking around this ship every day. And we are only through decks three, four, and five. Well, two also, but that was just a little bit. Unbelievably, that is almost three miles so far today, just walking around where you guys have seen in this video so far. All right, so we're gonna head up. I'm gonna take you around high, the pool area, and up to the gym. We'll do the gym last. Okay, so we're on 14 right now. We got the solarium, the spa and fitness center, the pool, and the Ocean View Cafe. We're gonna go up to 15. Now on the forward end here, which is where we're at, we can't see anything that is having to do with the retreat. That's all for, I don't know, people who are paying more money basically. <laughs> the fitness center, the actual gym, is right up on 15. So we're gonna go up there, but after we get done with this. So let's go ahead and walk through the pool area first. I'll take you over to this stuff here, the rooftop garden, the grill, the sunset bar, show you that area, and then we'll come back and we'll see the actual gym. And that has an incredible view right out the front of the ship. Okay, so right off these elevators, we're gonna come into the solarium here, which is basically an enclosed area with a small pool. There's two whirlpools over here. You can see it's kind of under a dome. So you're not actually sitting directly under the blazing hot sun like you are around the regular pool. This also has an awesome little cafe over here and you can sit anywhere you want here and just watch the ocean go by. Now look at this right now. We've got a Nor Norwegian cruise line and a Virgin ship over there. Pretty cool. We're actually docked in St. Kitts right now but this area here is usually Packed. I mean the pool, the whirlpools, every single chair. Same with out here around the big pool. This is usually just packed to the gills out here. That sun is just beating down out here. I'll take you up here real quick, show you what the pool area looks like. There's a little bar right here. You can get drinks or whatever you want. And the pool is straight ahead here under the big X. Wow, I don't even see anybody in the pool right now. That is very strange. It's usually shoulder to shoulder in here. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's keep on moving. We'll go back down here and circle around. So we're gonna go up here in a minute. This is actually a whirlpool up here. We're gonna go up on each of those decks. There's a walking track. But I will take you first through here, which takes us to the Ocean View Cafe, which is also the buffet. You're gonna to get to see how huge this buffet is. Yeah, this place is always packed when they're open. This is the buffet over here, this entire area. And if we keep walking all the way through here, you'll see at the end of the hall is where you can get pizza. Yeah, look at this, it's still breakfast. I got pancakes. All kinds of stuff there. And anywhere that you sit to eat, you can be looking out windows at the ocean. 
Here comes the end of the ship in the pizza bar. And it is not open at the moment, but this is where they make all the pizza. They always have a stack of pizzas over here waiting to go in the oven, a bunch of cooking. And then it's like a little pizza bar right down here where you can just go through and grab whatever you want. Calzones on the end. You can go out the back here and get an even better view off the back of the ship. Show you this. Yeah, look at this, you can sit out here and eat. It's really awesome to be out here when you're sailing because you're just watching all the water go behind you. And there's a couple of different levels over here. We'll go up there too. All right, let's do this first. We'll go around the other side of the buffet here. Here's the Ocean View Bar. You can get drinks there. And this just circles around the other side of the buffet. You can see why you get in thousands of steps and tons of miles just walking around the ship. Just doing the regular basic things. Here's the other side of the buffet here. You can see how enormous this thing is. All right, so I wanna take you out this way and show you along the other side of the pool area because it just looks completely different. There's a pretty awesome hallway over here and then we'll go up to those other levels. Yeah, this right here, look at this. There's the pool area again. And wait, let's come over here just in case any of you are saying, what's up with that giant elephant? This is what you see when you're getting ready to go up the steps to go to the pool area. A dude with a giant elephant on his back. <laughs> okay, back to over here. Let's go ahead and walk down through here. I like walking down through here in the evening because there's such an awesome breeze. And all these seats are open for you to sit. This is called the magic carpet. Let me show you this quick. This actually hangs off the side of the ship. It's a sitting area out here, which overlooks the ocean. And you can actually get drinks from the bar or whatever you want to do. We can walk through here. This actually moves up and down the side of the ship. Not like constantly, but some days it'll move down to deck five and uh, back up here. We're on 14 right now. And then, yeah, when I'm in my room over here, we can look over here and see people looking out these windows. All right, let's go back out and continue back down this hallway here. I just love the way that this looks here like a long galley that you're walking through. And as we come to the end here, we'll find the mast grill. Now, this is right between the two pools. You look up here, that's the regular pool area there. There's the solarium, and in the middle we have the mast grill. They make burgers and hot dogs here. It's always hopping in here, but it is delicious. And what I like is over here, there's a little ice cream machine. They had chocolate the other day, strawberry yesterday, so delicious. <laughs> so continuing through here, we, it just brings us right back to the solarium. And I already showed you what this looks like. Big pool area with two whirlpools. But the track just continues all the way around. Perfect area to walk around and get your exercise. But I wanna bring you back down here. We'll go up on the next level and I'll show you the actual walking track. Right up there is where we're going. And these steps take us up to the mast bar, the rooftop garden, and sunset bar. Oh wait, look at this. From here you can see on top the other ship next door all their water slides. That's what I'm talking about. The next cruise I'm taking is going to have water slides. <laughs> okay, keeping with our path. Let's go on up these steps. I'll show you the actual walking track up here. So these are the steps we just came up. And if you look down this way, you see the rooftop garden down there. This is the walking track right here. And it has some arrows, but people just don't really follow this. I mean, everybody's just walking everywhere around this place. But that is the jogging track, and you can see, look, good effort, three laps. Go a bit further, five laps is one mile if you walk the entire track. And this track will go from here all the way around. It goes around the pool and up there. We're gonna go there goes up here it goes back around the rooftop garden down here and you know what let's just go ahead and go this way we'll follow it the way we're supposed to it'll bring us right back here and if there's anything really interesting along the way I'll show you like this is the second deck that you can stand here and look over the pool 
we like to just kind of stand up here because it's shaded and you can watch all the activities and games and stuff that are going on down there um, as you come down here there are actually some ping pong tables right around the corner here a little sitting area and then this continues around the entire pool here goes all the way up Again, you can just kind of stand up here and watch whatever's going on in the pool. Pretty interesting people watching. This goes all the way up and around. Man, look at that view out there. Those mountains, the ocean, the ships out there. Pretty amazing. So as we come around the top here, you can see there's a big whirlpool here. I haven't been in these, but I've been told that they're hot. So why you'd want to get in one of those when it's 85 out anyway, I don't know. But there's a pretty awesome view of the pool area down there. We'll keep going around the top here. This takes you to the retreat where we can't go in. This is the dome that's over top of the solarium that I showed you from inside. And this track just goes all the way around the ship here. All the way up there. Just more areas here to look down over whatever's happening down at the pool area the bar, the games, whatever activities they're doing down there. Coming around this corner down here is the mast bar. I've not been in there, but it's just more drinks and, you know, whatever. They might even have food there. I'm not positive. But this brings us around to the second whirlpool up here. And I also have not been in this one, but I want to get in it. I'd love to be sitting in this as you're actually cruising through the ocean. Maybe I'll do that tonight once the sun goes in. Because this whole area, it's usually hopping all day long. And then it's empty about 7.30, 8 o'clock because people start going to the theater shows and things like that. Okay, we'll keep that in mind for later. Let's keep following the track here. And this takes us back to that, uh, the rooftop garden. And this right here is a little hidden gem that I found. It's a restroom that is only a one person restroom is the only one I've seen on the entire ship could be wrong there might be more but if you want the best privacy you're gonna get in the bathroom it's this one right here aside from the one in your own cabin of course so let's keep going down here this is the area on the ship that we found has the most wind like the craziest wind as you're walking down here it's just blowing you all over the place now you can go down these steps and go that way or else you can just keep following the track which brings you around here and right back around to where we began right down here now i do want to continue and show you the rooftop garden so we're going to go ahead back this way and i want to show you these awesome pools back here these are called plunge pools they're kind of like a little gem in themselves. First of all, they're awesome because they're surrounded with glass. So you can see straight through there and see people swimming. And not only that, but when you're swimming in there, it's like you're hanging off the side of the ship. Look at that. Pretty cool. That's where I got all my sunburn. And there are actually two of these. One here and then one right down here. And this is a hot part of the ship man when you're in these the sun is just blazing right down on you oh yikes i don't think we're going off the ship today i was wondering how far of a walk it was to get to the little shopping area and you can see this long dock going all the way up here yeah i don't know i don't need anything that important to go up there we don't have any offshore excursions or anything but look at this uh, ship over here you can see they have a little uh it's either a pool or a whirl whirlpool down there right on the front. How cool is that? So let's go ahead back here and then we'll circle around over here to the garden top grill. This takes us to the back of the ship. And again, an awesome place just to look over, to chill out back here and watch the ocean go by or go behind you as you're cruising so many places to sit out here and chill out and relax this is where we just were where we came out from the pizza place and this is as high as it gets on the outside in the back here where you can just chill out here and watch the ocean go behind you as you're cruising along this is a little bar right here you can get drinks at 
and this circles around. They have live music up here and things like that. They always have something going on to keep you entertained. We'll keep going this way. Circle back around. This is the rooftop garden grill right here. Have not eaten here, but they have burgers and all kinds of food. So we can go this way and keep circling around, or else we can come right back here and pass that restaurant here. I do want to eat in there. Maybe we'll try to do that tonight. But that brings us to the rooftop garden here. They're playing pickleball over here right now. You can see there's a ton of areas to sit. A giant screen up there, and they have a lot of movies up here. They've played like Spider-Man, and I think tonight is the color purple. I don't know, they've had a whole bunch of movies on there. To me, that would be fun, but most of them are at 3 p.m., and that's when it's really, really hot up here, and the sun is just blazing down, and there's no way I can sit in that to watch a movie. All right, so that is everything on these decks here. Now, I think the only thing we have left is the gym, and I'm really excited to show you that. There's all kinds of treadmills in there and bikes and everything, but really... You don't even need them if you just get out here and walk. All right, let's make our way back down here and we will make our way over to the gym. And that will conclude our walking tour. All right, we'll head up these steps. And the gym is to the right as we get up here. And that is right through here, the fitness center. Hmm, there's another way. Uh oh. That's through the spa down there. But here is the gym with all the treadmills. Look at this. All these treadmills here. You got bikes and weights and everything else in here. Free weights over here. Workout machines. All these, uh, I can't even think of what you call them. They look directly out the front of the ship here. So this right here is the closest you're gonna get to Jack and Rose hanging off the front of the ship. Pretty cool when you're flying through the ocean. And I am glad that we are docked right now because they just rang the emergency bell. <laughs> but that is it, guys. That's the gym right there. Best view in the entire ship right here while you're working out. But honestly, I've not been in here because I've got so many miles in just simply walking around the ship itself. Although, I don't think I wanna leave without experiencing it once. So maybe I'll come down here this evening do a little workout on a treadmill, maybe the bike. Have a little bit of fun and watch the ocean. So that's it. I'm hot and sweaty from this walk. I'm going back to my stateroom, get cleaned up a little bit. I'm gonna go get some breakfast. <laughs>